Boom. All right, so one, when the Hebrew Israelites would come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, all right, which is known uh, in the scriptures as Babylon the Great. Okay, so-called black Hispanics, uh, Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites, okay, the true Hebrew Israelites from your perspective tribes, all right? So before I get started with the lesson with this camp, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders. Never well a great millstone. And salutations to all you sincere Akim that are preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, so before I get started, well, I did start lots of a little early. Uh, the first scripture I'm going to get, all right, is Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people, unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which the Heavenly Father, all right, the, the God of the Bible, the God of the Hebrews, all right, the God of the Israelites, Israel's name is Yahweh. Okay, that's his true name. Which Yahweh means he is or he exists. Uh, he created everything you see through his only begotten son, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. His real name, all right, is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers or he saves. Because the Lord set up Yahweh Shai to, to come into this world. He was the complete prophecy, okay, and to save the remnant of people, which I will get that as of right now. All right, that's the spirit, because I didn't even want to get this. All right, this is Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21, and she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name. Okay, I'm going to read him verbatim. It says Jesus. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Okay. Which his real name is Yahweh Shai. All right, the, 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 the scriptures, the Old Testament, was originally in Hebrew. It was in English. And in the New Testament, was originally in Greek and I believe uh, some Latin. Okay, and now it's translated to English. So the words that you see here weren't the original words that were written on the scrolls or in the ancient books, you know what I mean? All right. The, the original language was Hebrew. And then like I stated, was translated, rewritten with certain scrolls in Greek, Latin, okay, and I believe uh, some people like to say Arabic, all right, but we stick with, okay, what we know is English, the, the words here are not the same, even Jesus, there is no, uh, there was no letter J until I believe the 16, 1700s, so what would have been written would have been Jesus. All right, but what we just read in uh, Matthew one more time. Now I'm going to read it the correct way. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. And Yahweh Shai, all right, is a Hebrew name. He is a Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is a Hebrew. Okay, so called Jesus Christ. So he came. To save his people, man. Not everybody. Okay? Because not everybody needs to be saved, man. Back in Deuteronomy. Chapter 7, verse 6. And yeah, I'm out here uh, in Merced, California, right here on Canal Street. Canal and... Um, I, I want to say it's Canal and Main Street. Uh, give me a second, Salaki. Yeah, 
at uh, Bob Hart Square right here on Canal Street in the city, California. Uh, right next to Justino's restaurant. All right, let's continue. This Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen me to be a special people unto himself. Yeah, you Israelites, you so called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And of course, you got Israelite foreigners. Or you got Israelites that look like other nations. Okay. But your primary Israelite is going to come out looking like a so called Negro, Latino, or Native American. All right. And we're special people. You know, not discrediting the uh, Israelite foreigner, but for the most part, uh, you know, what resembles the Israelites, what you're going to know. And they're special people, man. They're the best at everything they do. All right, singing, dancing, cooking, okay, uh, sports. That's primarily how... Uh, majority of our people get famous is through sports, through singing, through dancing. Who runs the uh, sport Sport field? All right, it's so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. You got Judah, which is so-called Negroes. All right, they're running uh, football, basketball. You got the southern, uh, the northern kingdom. They're like Asher, which will be Brazilians. Well, they're, they're the best in soccer. All right. So each tribe has, has, has their own specialty. But also, uh, the tribes together are a special group of people. You know, the salt of the earth, as the scriptures like to call us. If there was no Israelites... This is what we planned. Okay, we planned to be Edom. Have you ever seen a Moabite dance? Have you ever seen an Edomite? <laughs> but their specialty river dance, man. You know what? Your river dancing was actually started by uh, Israelites, right? The Irish, the Scots, those are Israelites. The Italians, the Sicilians, those are Israelites. But when Esau dances, he's corny. Alright. When Esau is known for his mosh pit, man. What he's known for is uh, heavy metal. Death metal, I should say. Not heavy metal. Death metal, man. Like Cannibal Corpse. That's Esau, man. Alright. That's the caveman. I like to call it uh, the Basra Ball when they be uh, moshing, you know? It says, uh, continue. It says, The Lord had chosen me to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord set up the Israelites, man, to be special compared to everybody else, man. Alright, we're God's people, man. We're the chosen people. This is, uh, back in Genesis turn back to Genesis chapter 49 and 1. It says, and Jacob, which Jacob was our progenitor, Jacob was our forefather. Jacob's name was changed to Israel after he wrestled with angel. Now let me get the account since I'm speaking on it. All right. Give me a second. Alright, this is uh, Genesis chapter 32 and verse 32 and 24. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. 
And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. thigh. And the hollow of J Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. See, I understand what you meant. What kind of person, what kind of people we are, man. What kind of person our forefather was, man. Okay, our forefathers were, were not just regular men. Okay. He wrestled with this man. It says, until the breaking of the day. So he wrestled him quite, quite a minute, man. Quite a minute he wrestled with this guy, with this angel. It says, and he said, let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God. And with men and have prevailed. And the name Jacob, Yaquab, is Hebrew for supplanter. But that's how we received the blessing through our forefathers. Uh, you know, it went through J uh, Abraham, Isaac, and then Isaac's son Jacob. And Jacob supplanted his brother. Okay, Jacob used, uh, uh, you know, the gift of gift to get this blessing man and the blessing is that we're going to be immortal the blessing is that we receive the promise the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that's another thing is a uh, mercy man you know mercy is a beautiful thing okay we all need mercy man alright so he said and thy name shall be no more called Jacob but Israel for as a prince hast thou power with God and with men and hast prevailed, which the name Israel in Hebrew is Yahshua. And it doesn't mean he is a prince with God, he is a prince with power. He is a prince of power. Alright? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, is going to save us and he's going to give us power over these nations. Alright? He is the power. So this is Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather hither yourselves together, that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. And we're living in the last days. All right, the end times. Okay, technology is like so advanced. Now they're talking about cloning people, man. You know, this guy, he just got arrested, you know, on the news last week for murdering his wife and kids, or murdering his kids, I believe the wife got away. But he said he was part of some program, some, some uh, genetic, or I believe you would call it genetic experiment. And they were cloning people. And he said he was a clone. He bugged out. He went fucking psycho and killed his family, man. You know, I don't know how valid his story was. But they said that's what happened. He went bonkers, man. Fucking killed his whole family. You know, we're living in the last days, man, the end. That's why um, the scripture says, you know, that iniquity shall abound. And the love of many shall wax cold. Okay. Iniquity is abounding. Wickedness. Alright. That man butchering his family is wicked now. Killing his two babies. And then going to kill his wife but she, she got away. You know. People like that need to be put down. Man. You know. This is a wicked ass world. That's why you have by some of y'all shy. He's coming to destroy this wicked ass world. Let me get there. All right, this is a. Uh, Jeremiah. Chapter 28. And 8. And it reads The prophet that had been before me 
and be worthy of all prophesied. Which the word prophesy means to speak against or spoke against. Spoke against in a manner of something being done to it before it happens. So what I'm doing right now is I'm prophesying the downfall of America. And I'm prophesying that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. And he's coming back to save thee. He's coming back to save you. He's going to send the son to save you. Okay. From this wicked kingdom. But first and foremost, you got to repent as being an Israelite. Man. All right. I'm going to make this uh, my camp in eclipse. So I'm going to pause this one.